Hey YouTube, KK6 blah 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 here. Sorry for the terrible audio. So I'm on a business trip right now and I found this radio on Craigslist for a really good deal. So I bought it. Uh, I've always wanted one, so here it is. Um, so the problem is, is I don't know how to program any of the channels in it uh, for the local repeaters in town and uh, there's no videos on YouTube. So I figured it out and now I'm making a video. The first thing we need to do is turn the radio on. From here, we can actually set up the repeater we want to program directly into the VFO. If you're not in the VFO mode, you use the VM mode, which stands for VFO memory, and you can just toggle between uh, the, the memory mode and the VFO mode uh, with that one key. So let's go to the band we want to use. I'm interested in 2 meter FM, so I'm just going to change the bands up to the mode I want. Okay, so my VFO is on 146.520, which is uh, simplex mode, but my repeater is uh, quite a bit away from there. So the first thing I'm going to do is change the VFO to the repeater that I'm interested in. The repeater is at 147.270. Okay, so 147.270. Now, this is only part of it. As you know, repeaters use an offset, um, an input and an output pair. Um, in addition to a tone. So we need to actually go and set the tone um, and the repeater offset. So if we press and hold the function key here, a long press, we get into a menu here. Now, the first thing we need to check here is the repeater shift, which is actually on mm, function select 42. Right, so here's our repeater shift. It's actually already set up uh, uh, 0 0.60. That's what we want it to be. The next area we need to check is for the tone, uh, which is on 48. And the 48 um, uh, shows our tone here. Now, I'm just going to use the VFO knob uh, to select the tone frequency that I want. In this particular case, it's 114.8. Uh, That's all i got to do. Uh, I'm going to press and hold this one more time, long press, to get out. Now, to enable the tone and to enable the frequency offset, we need to do a short press here on the function key and then toggle through these options until I get to repeat, rev, and ton. Um, uh, this is the repeater mode, so if I press this, we'll notice that I start getting plus and minuses here in the bottom corner underneath the A key. Those are our frequency offsets for the repeater. In our case, uh, the repeater I'm program programming in is a, is, a, is a positive offset. Now for the tone, I just press the C key and that leaves a letter T in the corner next to the, to the plus sign. That's all we got to do. If I had a microphone hooked up to uh, the radio and an antenna, I should be able to key the repeater, but I don't, so that's for another video. Um, now, to store this setting into a memory location, I just need to put the radio into memory mode here. As you can see, I've already put a few locations in, uh, but I want to put it into memory location 3. So the first thing I'm going to do um, to do this is I'm actually going to change the band because right now it's saying I'm in some sort of CW mode and that's not really right. So I'm just going to go look for my 2 meter mode. Now it's going to take the settings that I made in my VFO and copy it over into my manual tune mode. Right. So this is exactly what I wanted for the repeater. Now to store this I do a function, quick press, and I scroll down to MW, MC, and TAG. Right, so MW stands for memory write. Since I've already selected, um, I can select any slot I want to put it into. But let's just say I want to put my, uh, that, that repeater into memory channel 3. Oops, I timed out. So I'm going to press it. I can choose wherever I want to put it. I'm going to put it into 3. I'm going to hit OK. And now it's going to give me an option to change the name of that memory slot. So in our case, I can put the memory, uh, the name of the repeater in here, the call sign, which is, uh, what is it, Whiskey Bravo uh, 0, Whiskey Bravo 0, uh, Zulu Kilo Bravo. All right, so this is the hardest part, is trying to find the characters in this little window here. So there's Zulu Kilo. Bravo, last one.
I know it's in here somewhere. Zulu Kilo Bravo. Now if I press this A key one more time, it's stored it in there. And I can confirm this by pressing the V M key one more time to get out of the manual tuning mode. And this is the repeater I just put in. So how do I know it's in here? Uh, if I press my function select key, um, I'm just confirming that I have tag on the C key right now. And tag just says this is the label of the memory. So if I press C, it gives me the repeater. That's all there is to it. Cheers.